Wooden chairs cost $172 to make. Hit pause right there. This amount of money, obviously it's important, but there's going to be a few different you know, numbers here. So I want to actually state what $172 means, not just write down $172. Look at the sentence again. It says, wooden chairs cost $172 to make. So I'm going to call this cost price. So rather than just write down a number, and then in my working, it's like, what does this number mean? What does it stand for? If I'm reading your working, what, what kind of uh, thinking process do I see going on here? I'd love you to write with me what this quantity actually stands for. That's what it is. Cost price equals $172. That should be your first line of working. And then it goes on. Calculate the selling price. Here's the next piece of working, right? If the chairs are marked up by 35% when sold. Quick question, why do they mark it up? Like, that's how much it costs to make. Why do they sell it for more, Harry? So they get profits. Okay, number one, so they can make a profit. Uh, number two, there might be other associated costs that are not the, say, the cost price, like staff, that kind of thing, rent, all of that. So we're going to try and work out selling price. Now, there's two different ways we can do this, and I'm going to show you the two ways of working it out right now. Okay, Merrick? Could you do 172 times by 35%? Okay, so let's, let's take Merrick's first idea. Before I take his calculation, I want to know what it is he's working out. That's the markup, is what he's calculating. So let's, do, let's take Merrick's suggestion. The first thing I want us to write down, it's our first way of solving it, is to calculate the markup. It's 35% of this 172, just like before. What operation is that of? You see that? It's, that's times. So I'm going to write times. And then here's my $172. Okay, now these are weird numbers. I don't have my um, 35 times tables off the top of my head. So would someone like to punch into their calculator what 35% times 172 is? So how do you? Say it again. 60 point? 60 point 2. Now, I'm just going to write down Sahendu's answer as he stated to me. David. Thank you. This might be what your calculator display says. But I want to interpret this in the light of the question. 60.2, what is it an amount of? It's an amount of? Dollars. It's money, it's dollars, right? So I'm going to put the unit out the front, and I don't tend to write like $60.2. I would really usually write $60 and 20 cents. So I'll put a zero on the end there to indicate that I know what I'm talking about. Now what am I going to do with this? What's the thing I want to calculate? What's the name of it? Don't tell me the numbers, tell me the name of it. Have a look. Selling, Selling price, thank you very much. You see, it's really important not just to have numbers and equations flying around and symbols. I want to know what they stand for, right? How am I going to take the numbers I've got on the page and combine them? Yes, Merrick? You plus it. Okay, I'm going to add them together. Cost price plus my markup, that'll be my selling price. And we can write that down firstly, and then we can calculate it. Now, I don't think we even need a calculator for this, do we? We can do this in our heads. Three, it's going to start with a two. Two, three, two, three, two, two hundred and thirty, two, two and 20. twenty cents. And if you really want, you can verify that on your calculator. Okay. So this means of working it out, perfect. I have my answer down there. But there is another way. Whoops, I put a line unintentionally through my zeros. There is another way that can actually get us straight to the final line without doing quite so much working, um, but we have to think a little more to get there, right? So here's what I'm going to write instead. I'm going to try and do the markup and the selling price in one hit. Takes a bit more thinking, but you've got to lay it out carefully. I'm going to go straight to my selling price, and here's how I'm going to write it. In Merrick's working out, which I think is perfect by the way, you notice you've got 100% of the cost price here and 35% of the cost price here. Let me say that again. In fact, I'm going to write it because it's so important. You've got 100% of the cost price there and 35% of the cost price there. Now have a think. What's the total percentage if you put those together that the selling price is? Jessica? 135%. Do you see where we got that from? Yep. You're adding them together, just like you added here. Okay? Yeah. So okay. Yes, real quick, because the bell's gone. 135% is the total percentage. And I multiply that by the original cost price, and you'll get the same answer. Exactly.